see the mine starts to go into prey. I'm trying to catch that as soon as it goes into prey to do a recall. Little territory there, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Very, very good boy. But, you know, dogs got prey drive. And so I'm trying to train his brain. As soon as you switch to from play to prey, you're gonna get recalled to me. And if you don't, you're gonna get corrected. Soon, I won't always just make that a recall. I'm just using that for the understanding of recall training. I'm just going to correct anytime he goes into prey when it's inappropriate. And then follow through with my disapproval socially. And that'll actually train his brain to start to trigger and pray drive and then stop and relax and look at me for direction you know okay so good here we go why is this different than regular recall why we're not just in a straight line going come good come good come that's fine and dandy but at one point or another you need to proof it you need to make sure it works in reality you need to make sure a deer goes by a dog's playing it tells him to go back okay we need to prove that. If a squirrel goes by, a dog goes by, a cat goes by, a chipmunk goes by, this is all prey drive. So prey drive is part of the training here. We need to teach a dog, it's not appropriate to go into prey drive, okay? Until it is. They need to know when it is. And the only time it'll ever be is if your owner encourages it, okay? So, he did good, he did really good. That's one experience when it comes to prey drive. I'll be looking for others. Okay, well, he's here with us.